Henry's Christmas by Francesca Simon read by Miranda Richardson Perfect Peter sat on the sofa looking through the Toy Heaven catalogue. Henry had hogged it all morning to write his Christmas present list. Naturally, this was not a list of the presents Henry planned to give. This was a list of what he wanted to get. Horrid Henry looked up from his work. He'd got a bit stuck after a million pounds, a parrot, a machete, swimming pool, trampoline and killer catapult. Give me that, shouted Horrid Henry. He snatched the Toy Heaven catalogue from Perfect Peter. You give that back, shouted Peter. It's my turn, shouted Henry. You've had it the whole morning, shrieked Peter. Mum! Oh, stop being horrid, Henry, said Mum, running in from the kitchen. Henry ignored her. His eyes were glued to the catalogue. He'd found it. The toy of his dreams. The toy he had to have. I want a boom boom basher, said Henry. It was a brilliant toy which crashed into everything, an ear-piercing siren wailing all the while, plus all the trasher attachments, just the thing for knocking down perfect Peter's marble run. I've got to have a boom boom basher, said Henry, adding it to his list in big letters. Absolutely not, Henry, said Mum. I will not have that horrible, noisy toy in my house. Oh, come on, said Henry. Please! Dad came in. I want a Boom Boom Basher for Christmas, said Henry. No way, said Dad. Too expensive. You are the meanest, most horrible parents in the whole world, screamed Henry. I hate you! I want a Boom Boom Basher! That's no way to ask, Henry, said Perfect Peter. I want doesn't get. Henry lunged at Peter. He was an octopus squeezing the life out of the helpless fish trapped in its tentacles. Help, spluttered Peter. Stop being horrid, Henry, or I'll cancel the visit to Father Christmas, shouted Mum. Henry stopped. The smell of burning mince pies drifted into the room. Ah, my pies, shrieked Mum. <laughs> How much longer are we going to have to wait, whined Henry. I'm sick of this. Horrid Henry, Perfect Peter and Mum were standing near the end of a very long queue, waiting to see Father Christmas. They had been waiting for a very long time. Oh, Henry, isn't this exciting, said Peter. A chance to meet Father Christmas. I don't mind how long I wait. But I do, snapped Henry. He began to squirm his way through the crowd. Hey, stop pushing, shouted Dizzy Dave. Wait your turn, shouted Moody Margaret. I was here first, shouted Lazy Linda. Henry shoved his way in beside Rude Ralph. What are you asking Father Christmas for, said Henry. I want a boom boom basher. Me too, said Ralph, and a goose shooter. Henry's ears pricked up. What's that? It's really cool, said Ralph. It splashes green goo over everything and everybody. Yeah, said Horrid Henry, as Mum dragged him back to his former place in the queue. <coughs> what do you want for Christmas, Graham? asked Santa. Sweets, said Greedy Graham. What do you want for Christmas, Bert? asked Santa. Mm, don't know, said Beefy Bert. What do you want for Christmas, Peter? asked Santa. A dictionary, said Peter. Stamps, seeds, a geometry kit and some cello music, please. No toys? No, thank you, said Peter. I have plenty of toys already. Here's a present for you, Santa, 
he added, holding out a beautifully wrapped package. I made it myself. What a delightful young man, said Santa. Mum beamed proudly. My turn now, said Henry, pushing Peter off Santa's lap. And uh, what do you want for Christmas, Henry? asked Santa. Henry unrolled the list. I want a boom boom basher and a goo shooter, said Henry. Well, we'll see about that, said Santa. Great, said Henry. When grown-ups said, we'll see, that almost always meant yes. It was Christmas Eve. Mum and Dad were rushing around the house, tidying up as fast as they could. Perfect Peter was watching a nature programme on TV. I want to watch cartoons, said Henry. He grabbed the clicker and switched channels. I was watching the nature programme, said Peter. Mum! Stop it, Henry, muttered Dad. Now, both of you, help tidy up before your aunt and cousin arrive. Perfect Peter jumped up to help. Horrid Henry didn't move. Do they have to come, said Henry. Yes, said Mum. I hate Cousin Steve, said Henry. No, you don't, said Mum. I do too, snarled Henry. If there was a yuckier person walking the earth than stuck up Steve, Henry had yet to meet him. It was the one bad thing about Christmas, having him come to stay every year. Ding dong! It must be rich Aunt Ruby and his horrible cousin. Henry watched as his aunt staggered in carrying boxes and boxes of presents, which she dropped under the brightly lit tree. Most of them, no doubt, for stuck-up Steve. I wish we weren't here, moaned stuck-up Steve. Our house is so much nicer. Shh, said rich Aunt Ruby. She went off with Henry's parents. Stuck-up Steve looked down at Henry. Bet I get loads more presents than you, he said. Bet you won't, said Henry, trying to sound convinced. It's not what you get, it's the thought that counts, said Perfect Peter. I'm getting a boom boom basher and a goo shooter, said Stuck Up Steve. So am I, said Henry. Yeah, said Steve, you'll just get horrible presents like socks and stuff. <laughs> Won't I laugh? When I'm king, thought Henry, I'll have a snake pit made just for Steve. I'm richer than you, boasted Steve, and I've got loads more toys. He looked at the Christmas tree. Call that twig a tree, sneered Steve. Ours is so big, it touches the ceiling. Bedtime, boys, called Dad, and remember... No one is to open any presents until we've eaten lunch and gone for a walk. Good idea, Dad, said Perfect Peter. It's always nice to have some fresh air on Christmas Day and leave the presents for later. Ha, thought Horrid Henry. We'll see about that. The house was dark. The only noise was the rasping sound of stuck-up Steve snoring away in his sleeping bag. Hurried Henry could not sleep. Was there a boom-boom basher waiting for him downstairs? He rolled over on his side and tried to get comfortable. It was no use. How could he live until Christmas morning? Horrid Henry could bear it no longer. He had to find out if he'd been given a boom-boom basher. Henry crept out of bed grabbed his torch, stepped over stuck-up Steve, resisting the urge to stomp on him, and sneaked down the stairs. Creak, went the creaky stair. Henry froze. The house was silent. Henry tiptoed into the dark sitting room. There was the tree, and there were all the presents, loads and loads and loads of them. Right thought Henry. I'll just have a quick look for my boom boom batter and then get straight back to bed. He seized a giant package. This looked promising. He gave it a shake. Th -th -th -thunk. This 
sounds good, thought Henry. His heart leapt. I just know it's a boom boom basher. Then he checked the label. Merry Christmas, Steve. Rats, thought Henry. He shook another temptingly shaped present. Merry Christmas, Steve. And another. Merry Christmas, Steve. And another. And another. Then Henry felt a small, soft, squishy package. Socks for sure. Oh, I hope it's not for me, he thought. He checked the label. Merry Christmas, Henry. There must be some mistake, thought Henry. Steve needs socks more than I do. In fact, I'd be doing him a favour, giving them to him. Switch. It was the work of a moment to swap labels. Now, let's see, thought Henry. He eyed a goo-shooter-shaped package with Steve's name on it, then found another definitely book-shaped one intended for himself. Switch. Come to think of it, Steve had far too many toys cluttering up his house. Henry had heard Aunt Ruby complaining about the mess just tonight. Switch, switch, switch. Then horrid Henry crept back to bed. It was 6 a.m. Merry Christmas! shouted Henry. Time to open the presents! Before anyone could stop him, Henry thundered downstairs. Stuck up Steve, jumped up and followed him. Wait! shouted Mum. Wait! shouted Dad. The boys dashed into the sitting room and flung themselves upon the presents. The room was filled with shrieks of delight and howls of dismay as they tore off the wrapping paper. Socks! screamed stuck-up Steve. What a crummy present! Thanks for nothing! Don't be so rude, Steve, said rich Aunt Ruby, yawning. A goo-shooter! shouted horrid Henry. Wow! Just what I wanted! A geometry set, said Perfect Peter. Great! A flower-growing kit, howled stuck-up Steve. Fooey! Make your own fireworks, beamed Henry. Wow! Tangerines, screamed stuck-up Steve. This is the worst Christmas ever. Oh, a boom, boom, basher, beamed Henry. Gee, thanks. Just what I wanted. Let me see that label, snarled Steve. He grabbed the torn wrapping paper. Merry Christmas, Henry, read the label. There was no mistake. Where's my boom boom basher? screamed Steve. Mm, must be here somewhere, said Aunt Ruby. Ruby, you shouldn't have bought one for Henry, said Mum, frowning. I didn't, said Ruby. Mum looked at Dad. Not me, said Dad. Not me, said Mum. Father Christmas gave it to me, said Horrid Henry. I asked him to, and he did. Silence. He's got my presents, screamed Steve. I want them back. They're mine, screamed Henry, clutching his booty. Father Christmas gave them to me. No mine, screamed Steve. Aunt Ruby inspected the labels. Then she looked grimly at the two howling boys. Perhaps I made a mistake when I labelled some of the presents, she muttered to Mum. Never mind. We'll sort it out later, she said to Steve. It's not fair, howled Steve. Why don't you try any new socks, said horrid Henry. Stuck up Steve lunged at Henry, but Henry was ready for him. Splat! <laughs> oh! screamed Steve, green goo dripping from his face and clothes and hair. Henry, screamed Mum and Dad. How could you be so horrid? <laughs> boom, boom, crash. Need all, need all, woo, woo, woo. What a great Christmas, thought Henry, as his boom, boom basher knocked over Peter's marble run. Say goodbye to Aunt Ruby, Henry, said Mum. She looked tired. Rich Aunt Ruby and Steve had decided to leave a little earlier than planned.
Uh, goodbye, Aunt, said Henry. Goodbye, Steve. Can't wait to see you next Christmas. Actually, said Mum, you're staying the night next month. Uh-oh, thought horrid Henry. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.